Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel and another Wizarding Trunk unboxing. Today we are opening up a box or a trunk packed full of magical artifacts that we know from our favorite series. This box is beautiful. Look at this. It's packed with magical portraits. Looks like Dumbledore in the center there, Snape up here. What looks like Umbridge because she's wearing pink. But let's take a quick little look around the entire box. All the sides have different portraits. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? All of those magical portraits. On this side it says, Fragile Magical Delivery or Fragical Delivery. And then of course we've got portraits on the bottom. And this is one of their Owlry boxes, so they're bi-monthly boxes. The Wizarding Trunk has two separate subscription services, bi-monthly or quarterly. Their quarterly box or their special edition box is called the High Security Vault. So this is the Owlry box or the bi-monthly box. Before we open this up, I've got a very exciting announcement to make. This coming Sunday, August 27th, the Wizarding Trunk and I are finally announcing the third Keep Collecting box. I guess since I'm announcing the announcement, I'm essentially announcing the box, but that's okay. So the third Keep Collecting box is going to be announced this Sunday, August 27th. So set an alarm, keep an eye on all of the Potter Collector social media, the Wizarding Trunk social media, which will tell you when that information video, which will be posted here on YouTube, will go live. It's gonna have all the information about when you can order, when it's going to ship, the theme, as well as some like, you know, little hints about what you may find on the inside of the box. And when it comes to ship date, you know, normally it's like, okay, we ordered the last Keep Collecting box in like, you know, July and it shipped in December. There's gonna be a much smaller window from order date to ship date compared to previous Keep Collecting boxes. So the Wizarding Trunk and I will see you on Sunday, August 27th for that big announcement. All right, let's pop this beauty open. I am so excited to open up the Keep Collecting box. There are gonna be some great items in there. All right, so this is what we've got on the inside. I mean, I'm going right for the big box for Ron. This is a big old box for Ron right here. Cardboard box. Let's open her up. Oh, there are two pins in here. There's like a, maybe a blanket? It's something fragile. Anything with styrofoam is, ooh, oh. It's double-sided, oh my gosh, okay, I thought it was gonna be just one-sided. And I shouldn't have thought that because that's not how the Wizarding Trunk does things. This is the archway in the Department of Mysteries and the archway where Sirius Black finds his fate. He falls through the archway to his demise. Very intense scene in the book, intense scene in the movies. And this is beautiful. I love the shimmery silk, like the paint, how it's painted. It looks like the fabric is shimmering, which is how it's kind of described. Through the Veil, I think that's the, the title of the chapter. Beautifully designed and sculpted piece. The rock work is really nice. The paint job, the shading, and again, that silvery fabric. It's not actually fabric, but it looks like fabric that's kind of flowing down and flowing in this mystical archway. Really, really well done. I'm impressed with this. As you like look at different angles and stuff, it looks as though there's like a shimmering moving fabric. Great start. All right, we've got a potion here or a potion ingredient. What is this going to be? Vervain, vampire repellent, natural vampire repellent. So vervain is like a, a flowering plant and I guess I didn't realize it was a natural vampire repellent. So now we're gonna keep those Cullens and Twilight folks at bay because we have Vervain, the natural vampire repellent. It could be used as a potion ingredient and it's kind of a potion because you use it to, well, I guess you use dittany for things and that's essentially a potion ingredient too. So let's call this a potion ingredient. But I like the whole look of this, the purple coloring of the liquid, the purple wax seal, beautiful label as always. And then of course that flowering plant on the inside ready to repel vampires. We have, 
another book cover. Now, I think we're coming to the end of the book covers, and from what I hear, The Wizarding Trunk is not going to be releasing book covers in the future. They are going to be doing another series of like magical items, which is exciting. So it's not gonna be a, a paper product as far as I know, at least that's what it seemed like when I read their post. But what is this book? So this is for, this is for book six. Okay, so we're gonna have one more book cover after this because currently they are doing book covers that fit the UK editions. So they've done book covers that fit all the US editions. Now they are doing the UK editions and it looks like they have one left. All right, so this is the Book of Magical Admittance. The Book of Magical Admittance. Okay, I just also remembered that this is like a magical artifacts box. So I'm wondering what the significance of Vervain is for magical artifacts. We may have to wait for the spoiler sheet to learn how this is significant when it comes to magical artifacts. But we also have this book cover, the Book of Magical Admittance. So my guess is that this is like supposed to be the ancient book of like admittance to Hogwarts. You know, Hagrid says to the Dursleys, you know, Harry's had his name on the list, you know, since the day he was born. So this must be like the book of admittance. So that would be my guess. And if that guess is correct, that would mean this is quite the magical artifact. So this is going to fit Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Again, the UK hardcover edition. And what's great about the UK hardcover editions is for the most part, all of them are about the same size, the ones that are published by Bloomsbury. So no matter what hardcover you have, whether it's the 15th anniversary editions, the 20th anniversary editions, the house editions, the original editions, these book covers are going to fit. So I just pulled the 15th anniversary adult edition of Half-Blood Prince, and we are going to turn it into the magical book of admittance. So since we're talking about the book covers, does anyone have any ideas about like what the Wizarding Trunk is gonna be releasing and their, their boxes that you gotta collect them all, something's gonna come in each of the boxes. I'm very curious to see what that's gonna be. All right, so here we have it, the Magical Book of Admittance. I'm again, assuming that this is the book that has the names of all the students in it. Very beautiful cover, looks like an ancient artifact. You know, this is the book that was bound by the four founders of Hogwarts or something. I love that aged look, and I could be completely wrong when it comes to like what I think this might be, but loving that gold foiling. Y'all know I love gold foiling, that Niffler inducing foiling makes the Niffler in us go crazy when we see that gold foiling sparkle and shine. All right, I know what this is, and you're gonna know what this is too. This has to be a Sorcerer's Stone or a Philosopher's Stone. Let's save this for later. And instead, we're gonna open up this, which looks like a little jewelry box or something, and has the Wizarding Trunk logo on the front. And on the inside, it actually, I'll show you guys first. The inside is, da 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 da. Looks like a wand, no, a sword, oh! It's the Sword of Gryffindor, is this a necklace? It's a Sword of Gryffindor necklace. This is quite the magical artifact indeed. Look at that, very well done. I won't wear it because your boy's a Slytherin, but it's a really nice piece, no matter what house you're in, to wear if you are a Potter fan. Nice detailing on there, we see a wizard on the hilt, and what looks like a griffin with that red ruby on the top of the handle of the sword. Really nice detail on this little teeny tiny pendant. It's actually not teeny tiny, it's, it's a fairly good size. Made out of metal, not plastic, not cheap, with a metal chain to go with it. And the packaging too, the packaging's really, really nice. All right, moving right along, we have a box here. This is pretty heavy. Let's open up a pin, because there are two pins. Curse Breaker Gringotts, very cool. So this is like a badge pin, and you would wear this if you were a Curse Breaker working at Gringotts. Now Curse Breakers, they, what they do is they try to break curses. Their job is to try to break curses. They've kind of been thought to be like the muggle version of an archeologist, where they go out and they break the curses that are surrounding magical artifacts so that they can collect the magical artifacts. So if you were a curse breaker, you would be wearing one of these beautiful, beautiful badges. That is really well designed, well made as is true for all Wizarding Trunk pins, but Bill Weasley was a curse breaker for Gringotts. This is a fun badge for this box because, you know, a curse breaker breaks the curses on magical artifacts. Really, really nice. All right, let's open up this one because I think this is a portrait pin from the feel of it. Who's it gonna be? Okay, Magical Artifact, Nicholas Flamel. 
Maybe Nicholas Flamel. I'm gonna guess Nicholas Flamel. Or a founder of Hogwarts with their magical artifact. Oh, it's Dumbledore. So this is Dumbledore's headmaster portrait that is forever hung in the headmaster's study and he is sleeping in his chair. In Half-Blood Prince, this is, you know, how Dumbledore's portrait is described. You know, he's just peacefully sleeping in his portrait. Heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking, but a beautiful pin nonetheless, and a great addition to the Wizarding Trunks portrait pin collection. All right, let's open up this, uh, this big old box here. Oh my gosh, this is a very magical mirror. Look at how beautiful this is. And it has a little kickstand so you can put it on your shelf. It's made out of metal, real mirror. Now it has little latches on here. I'm wondering if you could take the mirror out and maybe use this as a photo frame too. I don't think so, I don't think it's coming out. I mean, you could probably get the, the mirror out somehow and put a photo of your heart's desire in there, but it's, amazing as a mirror. Really nice detail, nice swirls, and it's kind of a mixture of the mirror that we know and the mirror that, you know, would maybe be in our minds when we were reading the book. I personally would have liked to see a more yellowish gold finish on it, but that's a minor detail. It's really, really nice. This is a fantastic box. All right, we have possibly a key. Oh, look at this. Look at this little bag that's stamped with the Wizarding Trunks logo. Nice velvety bag. And inside is, ooh, this is not a key. And it is absolutely a magical artifact. It happens to be one of my favorite magical artifacts. The diadem is one of my favorite artifacts. And thank you, Wizarding Trunk, for using an eagle on here. So this is a comb. Really cool. The Wizarding Trunk has done fun little diadem things in the past. Nice blue sapphire in the center, and then the diamonds on the outside of the wings. All right, we have the Philosopher's Stone here. And this, oh! We're opening this up. This is an invisibility cloak blanket. Check this out. I think this is the exact same pattern that we came up with for the pillow cover for the second Keep Collecting box, the Stain at School for the Holidays box, and now we have a blanket to match. So here is the decorative pillow cover from the second Keep Collecting box. Yeah, it's totally the same design. So that is cool. So now if you have these pillow covers, you have a matching blanket to go with it. And if you don't have one of these pillow covers, the Wizarding Trunk and I have restocked the second Keep Collecting box, staying at school for the holidays. Packed with awesome things, there's a magical wand in there, a beautiful snow globe with a nod to our favorite half giant, and of course, you know, this pillow cover. But the blanket is so nice and soft. The softness has kind of a silky feel to it. It's not as silky as the satin that was used for the pillow covers. When we were coming up with this, I said it has to be satin because the invisibility cloak is described as like almost liquid-like. And while this doesn't feel exactly like satin, it does have a very smooth, flowing light feel to it, yet also warm. So this is really, really nice. And honestly, this could be used as like a tapestry if you wanted to. You could hang this up on your wall for a decoration and then maybe put like a shelf in front of it and have some things displayed in front of it or whatever. There are so many great uses for this. All right, I'm saving the Philosopher's Stone. All right, this is the cheat sheet. And then this is, all right, so we have another book page from Magical Creatures A to Z, Dragon and Jin. I think that's how you pronounce it, D-J-I-N-N. -N like a genie, a djinn. So this is the next addition to the Magical Creatures A to Z page collection. As always, I will hold this up in front of the screen. You can pause the video if you would like to read what is written on here. All right, last but not least, from Vault 713. If this is not a Philosopher's Stone, I'm gonna be embarrassed. It is a oh, holy moly cannoli. This is a Gigantosaurus Philosopher's Stone. This is great. Really, really well done. This is probably the best Philosopher's Stone that has come from a subscription box. And the Wizarding Trunk is actually the first subscription box to put out a Philosopher's Stone. In their very first box, they released a little Philosopher's Stone and other subscription boxes have done Philosopher's Stones in the past, but this one is definitely the best of the bunch, without a doubt. And what's great is there's a nice flat surface for super easy display. 
I love the fact that this is just like a big old chunk of Philosopher's Stone. Like the color is really, really nice. It looks like garnet or ruby or something. Really nice depth into the stone. It looks like a red crystal of sorts or a red stone. The Philosopher's Stone, really great. This is gonna display beautifully. And I love how the light catches different facets to make it look like there's a fire within the stone. Really nice. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet. Great box. All right, so Magical Artifacts. The Magical Book of Admittance. This book cover fits the sixth house edition book or any of the other half Prince prints books printed by Bloomsbury. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. The stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a mythical alchemical substance that is known to be able to turn metal into gold and produce the elixir of life. Hair comb. It is rumored that those who comb their hair with this hair comb gradually gain increased intelligence. Designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. The shrunken sword necklace. I like that, the shrunken sword. It's not the full size sword, but it is the real sword. It's just shrunken. Wear this necklace in case you find yourself in need of a way to dispatch dangerous magical objects. Designed by Here Be Monsters. Portrait Pin. While the person depicted in this portrait isn't an artifact himself, he was a collector of many different magical artifacts. The Mirror. Those that gaze into the mirror see themselves as they desire to be. We suspect that you will simply see yourself reflected in the mirror because we think you are perfect just the way you are. Oh, that's so sweet. Designed by Here Be Monsters. Creature Page. This creature page teaches you about two creatures that are known to protect treasure and magical artifacts. This page is a collaboration between the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop. Curse Breaker Pin. There is a new bank opening in the alley. Ooh, interesting. And they have an opening for an elite witch or wizard that is capable of breaking the strongest of curses, unlocking vast amounts of gold and magical artifacts. Do you have what it takes to join this group of elite witches and wizards? Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Vervain. This magical plant has been used for centuries to repel vampires. This herb is very rare to find except in a small town in Virginia where the locals continue growing it. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. The door. This door is thought to be a portal between the living and the dead. However, we caution stepping through this portal because no one that has ventured through has returned. The Disappearing Blanket. If you're looking to disappear for a bit while reading a book or watching a movie, we recommend covering up with this blanket to remain undisturbed. Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. And the editor's choice, Mom Loves Disney, and you can find Mom Loves Disney on Instagram at Mom Loves Disney. And the next bi-monthly theme is going to be Wizard Alley. So what do you all think about this box? I think it was pretty well curated when it comes to like magical artifacts. I don't understand the significance of vervain, except for the fact that maybe it's a really rare herb to find. So it's like a magical rare artifact. I'm not sure. Very nice, but I don't understand the connection to, to this theme. I think I have two definite favorites and they are the archway, love this. Love, love, love everything about that. And the Curse Breaker pin. So well designed, looks cool. Looks like something that you would receive when you get the job at this new wizarding bank. They mentioned this new wizarding bank opening up. So I wonder if the G doesn't necessarily mean Gringotts, but you can become a Curse Breaker at this new bank that's opening up. Um, love the blanket because again, it was a nod to the Keep Collecting Box pillow. The Philosopher's Stone, so well done. The mirror is great. I think my least favorite item is probably the hair comb, mainly because I wouldn't use it, but also there's just something about it that I don't love. And it might be because this is like one of my favorite magical artifacts and I feel like it should just stay true to its form. But I really like the cleverness that was put into this and the thought of like, you know, if you continue to comb your hair, you may gradually gain some intelligence. So very, very clever. What about you guys? What did you think? Did you have any favorite items? Any least favorite items? 
If you received this box, what did you think about the theme as a whole? Did the Wizarding Trunk nail it? If you're just watching and didn't purchase the box, did you think that the Wizarding Trunk nailed the theme? I would like to know. The rest of the Potter Collector community would like to know, so leave a comment down below. If you would like to subscribe to either the bi-monthly or the quarterly subscription box from the Wizarding Trunk, check the description down below for a link. And once again, the Keep Collecting Box 3, I can't believe it's the third one already, is going to be officially announced this Sunday, August 27th. I can't wait to see you at that video. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. You'll find the official Potter Collector Discord link down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa! Where'd he go?